idea that old empire, you know, the crumbling wealth and the crumbling systems of Great Britain, now post-Brexit, is a kind of shadow of everything that it once was, um, and criminality, self-made money, being the underground architecture of this, you know, of this family. I think that's really interesting. I didn't ask for any of this. The title has no practical value. The business is broken. There are holes in the roof. The staff are revolting. And you, brother, are a coke-sniffing I think the, you know, wealth gap is getting, you know, larger and larger and people are kind of frustrated and the, the more hyper wealth there is than perhaps there used to be um, and then more poverty so the idea of kind of deconstructing wealth and the toxicity of it is very satisfying i'm trying to help you deal with it no one walks away and it's down to you to keep him under manners but amazing wagyu barbie barbie scene where we get to sort of see your dynamic. Can you take me through filming that scene? When you get a script and you get that, you know, there's a man in prison who's having a barbecue and mm. he's done up in all this gear. You go, that doesn't, what are you talking about? What prison is this? I'd like to go there. Yeah. You know, if you're going to get nicked, you uh, might as well have banged up there. Pretty good. But it was really good for me, just that gave me the flavour of what it was about. You know, it was, it was heightened, it was, it was this, it was that. And you, you either accept that or you don't. If you don't accept it, mm. then you're doing the wrong job and you should go somewhere else, you know? Yeah, right, it kind so, of gives you the confidence to lean into the world. Yeah, you know? and, and open yourself up for mm. it. So on, on a on a personal kind of work basis, that, that was a great scene for me to start with, you know? And then that's where we worked together for the first time and you start to learn the dynamics that you could have with one another. I think it's interesting, it's the first scene where you see Susie undercut. It's mm. the first moment kind of the mask slips ever so slightly and she realises that they're having a conversation between them that she didn't know was going to happen. And there's a very slight panic of, fuck, I'm not as in control as I thought I was, and Eddie's making his own decisions. And I think that's kind of the beginning of what we build on throughout the series, of, of who trusts who, and who's actually pulling the strings, who's actually in charge. Do you know what I admire about the British aristocracy? They're the original gangsters. I have to ask about the chicken scene. Um, I think everyone <laughs> will. Can you take me through what was happening to you while you were just being berated by Peter in that scene. I think because what Peter brings to the scene is so intensely menacing and terrifying, it kind of was like I had the easier job in a way, which was just to respond to his commands. Mm. Do you know what I mean? When you're working with an actor like that and you feel safe that like, oh no, he's going to make you feel degraded. Mm. Yeah. You don't have to kind of like... <laughs> Um, <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? You don't have to worry about where you're going to find that from. But it was fun, you know, and, and I think it's a great opportunity when you can really like play with the comedy and the darkness all in one and you, you can sort of go anywhere. Crying, singing, dancing, flying, pecking <laughs> grain <laughs> off the floor. I'm pecking the grain. <laughs> I think I laid an egg at one point. I don't, I don't know if that's in it. It was just like, lay an egg. You could lay an egg. Like I didn't even know I was capable yeah, of Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> actually lay an egg. <laughs> Um, that's awesome. I loved it. It was a great, you know, it was a great opportunity when those things come along. Yeah. It was a great Thanks, scene. man. Your, your character has an adventure of his own <laughs> that ends up sleeping in a field. Um, you, your character has to get carried out of a scene by Vinnie Jones. <laughs> Starkers. Um, can you tell me about that scene and how uh, that came together? <laughs> so there was a mention, a phone call uh, <laughs> from my agent about nudity. And I was a bit sat down with the wife and kids mentioned this scene and then the children said no <laughs> dad you are not putting your bum bum on tv for me to go to school and i go oh i see your dad's bum bum i see your dad's bum and you were like hold my beer <laughs> <laughs> so that is not my bum Watch bum me. Uh, we actually had to get a stunt double with it in so it wasn't actually my buttocks on the shoulders of vinnie jones did you approve the buttocks did I get did. buttock approval? I did. I had to <laughs> check that, that it looked like my bum bum. All right. Oh, and a good bum bum. Nice, man. It was, what, did you see the bum bum? Did you like Great it? Great bum bum. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Any time, any time to show, to show you what you need to live. Should we play or should we talk? The show is also makes a really interesting point about 
you know, the aristocracy and self-made success and inheritance. And then we meet Jeff, who's sort of in the middle of all this. Where, where do you see Jeff in this world? I think Jeff's got a lot of the family secrets. I think they go to him for advice. Yeah, he's that stoic guy that you trust with your life. Everyone needs a Jeff, though, so that they can uh, have their secrets. Yeah, I mean, you look, you look in any walk of life, you know, the olden days and current days, you know, there's always a Jeff there somewhere, whether, you, whether it's in politics and a football team. You know, you kind of need a Jeff. But, you know, yeah, the aristocracy kind of need somebody who's streetwise. Yep. Do you know what I mean? And yep. that's where Jeff comes in here. Yep. He, Jeff is streetwise as well. Why do you think The Gentleman works as a TV series, a, a sort of expansion of the world of the film to sort of like, not just a criminal of the week uh, sort of set up, but a more sort of a broader world? I think this show works and the reason why the show is powerful and the reason why there's so much scope with it and uh, certainly because I write myself as well and, and why they've got, they've got the aristocracy world to, to delve into, they've got the criminal underworld to, get, to delve into. They've got multiple nuances within both. You can get the crossover. You've got the aristocracy coming into this, you know, fearful, but then obviously being a little bit pulled into it. And then, so that's interesting to play with. And again, you know, the film was brilliant. And I don't know how long it ran out, 100 minutes or whatever, but you, you've got such a huge tableau that you can create so many wonderful multifaceted nuances. And so that lends itself to being a series.